Hi there. Now, for this question, part D, we're asked to find the equation of the regression line of t on h, giving your answer in the form t equals a plus bh for four marks. I've also included these two values here that we found from part A, STH and SHH. So if you'd like to have a go at this question, haven't done so already, then I'll give you time to just pause the video. When you come back, you can fast forward to the answer or just take your time and I'll take you through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, we've got to find then the equation of the regression line of t on h. And just as a reminder, you should be familiar with finding the regression line of y on x. You normally are given this formula in your formula books. But for y on x, y equals a plus bx, where b is equal to sxy divided by sxx. And if you rearrange this equation for a, a would equal y minus bx. But because the mean x bar y bar is, in theory, a point on the regression line, then it must satisfy this equation. So therefore, a will equal y bar minus bx bar. And so when I compare what we've got here, where the y is the t, and the h is replacing the x, then quite clearly I can see that b, which we'll need to work out first of all, is going to be equal to s of th divided by s of hh. Okay, when we compare it to this. So we've got our values for sth. We worked it out up here. And it's minus 224.08.8 recurring. And if we divide this then by SHH, which is up here, we'll have 1491222.2 recurring. And if you do this calculation, what you end up with is minus 0.0155. 0.2 and so on. I won't bother rounding this up at this stage. So that's our value for b. Now we need to work out what the mean values are. Over here it was x bar and y bar in preparation for working out what a was. So we've got to work out the equivalent and that will be h bar and t bar. So h bar equals sigma h, okay, the sum of all our h values, divided by n. And so what that's going to be here, sigma h is 7150, so 7150, and we divide it by how many values we've got, which is 9. And if you work that out, you end up with 794.4 recurring. We need to get the mean of the t values, so that's t bar. And again, that's going to be sigma of the values of t, and that's divided by n. And sigma t is 110. Divide that by n, which is 9, and you end up with 12.2 recurring. So we just put that there. So to get a, I'll just put here, since a equals t bar, the mean of t, minus b times the mean of h. So if we now put our values in, we therefore have that a is equal to the mean of t, which was 12.2 recurring, 12.2 recurring. And then minus b times h. b, we've seen over here, is minus 0 0.01502, and so on. And that's multiplied by the mean of h. And the mean of h, we've seen up here, is 794.4 recurring. 
Okay, so if you work that out, you'll find you get 24.160 and so on. So now we've got these values. We know that the regression line of t on h has the form t equals a plus bh. So therefore, we can say that t equals a. Now I'm going to give my answers to three significant figures. So this is going to be 24.2. And then it's plus b times h. b is a negative value. So that's going to be minus 0 0.0. 0 0.150 to three significant figures, and then that's multiplied by h. And I'll just put 3sf there, three sig figs for short. All right?